I want to get you to some breaking news now in Franklin where there are reports of storm damage. And a house fire may have been started by lightning. Todd Hicks is live in Franklin to show us the damage. The storm stairs started here after neighbors heard a loud bang and watched their neighbor's house catch on fire. Moments later, heavy winds brought big trees here like this crashing to the ground. It just sounded like a big boom. That was a sound that sent Heather J running into the street when lightning, winds, and rain came rolling through her Franklin neighborhood near West Forest Home and Woods. I came out and then I saw all the fire trucks. And Jay and other neighbors here tell me they have no doubt a lightning strike hit their neighbor's home before it went up in flames. It was so loud with the rain coming down. Michelle Hardig and her family were watching it too when the storm took a turn for the worse. We were outside looking at where the fire trucks were and a, the wind changed to a straight line wind. Michelle tells me all of this happened so fast. As soon as she heard a crash, she looked outside. That's when she saw this branch that weighs several hundred pounds smash her swing set like toothpicks. The burst of severe weather left trees like this one on top of electrical lines and the street lined with branches. And you can see a couple hours later, the electricity is still out here tonight. I'm told about 1500 in Franklin do not have power tonight. At this point, it's not clear when it will come back on. We're live in Franklin, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Todd. And We Energy is telling us about 2,100 customers are in the dark right now due to power outages from the storms. Some of those are in the Franklin area. Earlier, they had about 2,500 people without power. They're going to keep monitoring that situation and update you when we know more. And if there is a storm damage in your area, snap a picture and send it to us. I contribute at TMJ4.com.